So Jeff, what do you say to your patients about the risks of major depressive disorder? Well, for one thing, I, I, I try to help them understand that uh, there are the obvious risks of uh, just being in a lot of pain and suffering from the kind of depressed mood or the negative thinking that they get into where they're pessimistic about things or feeling hopeless. I also try to help them realize that there are more long-term serious risks. So specifically, people who have uh, chronic major depressive disorder will be at much greater risk for medical problems. And, and something that people don't realize, for example, is that a patient who has a major depression is at much greater risk to have a heart attack than someone who doesn't. Or if they've had a heart attack, they're at much greater risk to die from a second heart attack if they continue to be in a major depression. So you can get other kinds of medical problems too. But the other thing that, that we don't know how to measure per se, but that is a real risk is if you think about the kind of brain chemistry that's going on, and I try to help them realize this because they don't tend to think this way, uh, with depression there are all kinds of abnormalities in brain chemicals and hormones and the endocrine system is disrupted. And if somebody suffers from a major depression for a long time without it being treated, this takes its toll on the brain and the body. And that's, for example, one of the reasons people have greater risk of heart attacks. Right. And of course, there's, there's the greater risk of suicide amongst people sure. with major depressive disorder. And I think family members um, often don't realize the long-term health risks of untreated major depressive disorder. And it's important to know that it's uh, more than just feeling sad. Right, right, exactly.